Hey everybody, this is going to be on John P's guitar strings. I found them on Amazon and I thought, you know, I'm going to buy them. These are my favorite strings. If you watch my videos on YouTube, you'll see my reviews of strings and all my other awesome videos. So make sure you do a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, and my typical comment of please go to my channel page and click on support to help me out here. These videos benefit a lot of people. So, all right, this is my favorite string, EJ11. I love these things. I buy them uh, like 10 at a time online, but I thought, I'm going to try this sucker and see. What do I think of this? Uh, Ernie Ball, some Ernie Ball are okay. I can't stand Martin. So I've got two guitars in the background, and I know they're the same model. I know guitars sound different, but one has the EJ11 on there, and the other has these John P. strings. So I'm going to play them, and we will hear how they sound. I'm going to be playing the guitar with the John P. strings. Now I'm used to the EJ11s, which are really deep and bassy and rich, and yet they have the brassy sound of the 8020. So when I put on these John P. strings, it brings out a lot of higher tones, and to me, where I love the EJ11, the deep, rich sound, let me go switch over to that really quick. Okay, here you're going to hear the difference. You don't hear that high-pitched, the brassy sound. And this sounds really good. I, I, this is why I love these strings. They're deep, they're rich. They're very easy to play, they're easy on the fingers, they sound good. Well, let me go put on the John P strings. Remember, if you like my videos, feel free to link them all over the internet. I'm totally cool with that, it helps me out. Now listen to the difference now. If you can already hear it's a higher pitch sound, but it's not brassy and annoying. It still has a good sound to it. They're very easy on the fingers. Now, that was even easier to play than the EJ11s, which I play all the time. I didn't mess up on that at all. Um, let's do... They're, the strings are incredibly easy to play. I'm very picky because I, I really love EJ11 so much. So when I put these strings on, these John P strings, let me show this again. When I put these things on, I was shocked. Normally I put on a, a new pair of strings and I take it off, a new set of strings, I take it off within a day or two because I just don't like them. But I've kept these on and I don't know if these are going to replace the EJ11s, but they could. That's how much I like them. Let's go back to the EJ11s now, which still sound really good. They sound incredible. I love that deep, the real deep, rich sound of the, uh, the Adarios. See, I'm borrowing on that. It's not as easy for me, and you could say it's the guitar, but... Uh, this guitar has had more work than the other one, and it still doesn't sound as good. So that's the review. You get a chance to uh, hear the EJ11, my favorite string, 
and the new John P's strings that I bought, which are 80-20. I do not like the uh, phosphor bronze. I can't stand them. Um, these cost maybe four dollars, three to five bucks, something like that. These were about seven, six or seven or eight or something on Amazon uh, on the add-on, but it's going to be more now because you've got that extra shipping charge. But uh, awesome strings, I love it. Hopefully this video helped you a little bit. These strings are worth buying to see if you really like them because I think you might. And uh, good luck in your playing. Happy.